This exhibition is a historic event. This is a painting that was in Poland between 1791 and 1910. It is a painting that meant a, a huge amount to Polish people at the time. But it is a painting that has been in New York at the Frick Collection since 1910. This is the very first time the painting is lent by the Frick, and it is the very first time it returns to Poland since 1910. So it is really exceptional because the painting is on a, on a Polish tour. It was first in Warsaw, in the palace, where it was hung by the king, Stanisław August. The painting was in the royal collection. And now it is on Wawel Hill, which is the most important cultural, symbolic, uh, place in, in the heart of Poland. The painting was never here historically, but the painting was for almost a hundred years in the southeastern part of today's Poland in Galicia, when it was in the collection of the Tarnowski family. So it is important for the picture to be seen in this area of Poland. And of course, the Tarnowskis at the time had many links to Kraków and, 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 and were connected to Wawel as well in a number of ways. We are very proud of the Frick Collection to have established this partnership with uh, Wawel Castle and with the Royal Wajenki in Warsaw. This is the first time we collaborate with Polish institutions, and I very much hope that this will be the first of many future partnerships. But it is really for us an honor and exceptional to be able to witness this great masterpiece by Rembrandt being back in a country for which it meant so much. And that is very much linked to its current title. I mean, we all know it in New York as the Polish Rider. So um, I hope you will all come and enjoy this travel of the Polish Rider back to Poland for a few months. The painting is one of Rembrandt's most mysterious and famous masterpieces. It is only one of two uh, equestrian uh, images that he created in paint and paintings. The other one is a, is a full-length portrait uh, on horseback in the National Gallery in London. But we don't know what this painting actually means. Is it a portrait? Is it an image from the Bible, from mythology, from history, from theater? Is it actually just meant to represent a Polish soldier on, on horseback? There's been endless discussions about this. The scholars at Wawel in the past, in the, in the 20th century, have been very much key in discussing the meaning of this picture. Uh, but the answer is we still don't know. We don't know what it meant uh, to Rembrandt, what he intended it to represent. It shows a young man in an outfit that is Polish. Uh, he wears weapons and clothes and a hat that were worn by uh, light uh, cavalry in, in Poland in the 17th century. But that is also true of a number of other countries in the eastern part of Europe. So similar outfits were also worn, of course, in Lithuania, in, in Hungary, in a number of other countries. Did Rembrandt mean for this painting to be a Polish figure? We don't actually know. We do know that Rembrandt had many links, through his wife especially, to Poland. And there were many Poles, of course, living in Amsterdam at the time. But what is interesting is that the picture assumed different meanings at different times in history. And so when it was in Poland between the end of the 18th century, 1791 and 1910, when the Tarnowski family sold it to Mr. Frick and it arrived in New York, the painting had a, a huge meaning for Polish people at a time when Poland effectively didn't exist as an independent sovereign state. So this was seen as the quintessential image of the Polish knight, fighter. Uh, it was known as Elisovcek, uh, which are historical figures from the 17th century. But we don't know if Rembrandt meant it that way. So the mystery remains. It is a very mysterious, very puzzling picture for art historians. I'm sure plenty more will be written about it. And we all look forward to hearing about more theories and more ideas about what this painting may actually mean. But I think it is important to see it today, thinking about what it means to us today to see this young man going towards the unknown on his horse, fully armed, meeting the unknown in front of him. It is a very poetic picture, and I hope everyone will come to Babel Hill to enjoy this picture, see it, and think of it within the broader terms of Polish history and Polish objects. Seeing this painting and then visiting the armory, the treasury, all the other sites on the castle hill, which really explain why this picture is here for the next two months.